gay tubers and RV fans. I just figured I'd do a video to show you what I'm doing to prepare my coach to use on a more permanent basis and what I've installed. And I need some advice from some of you permanent RVers that have a little bit more experience. I just put in a 3000 watt inverter with a 5000 watt surge. And this microwave here, it's a uh, Sylvania. It only draws 1350 total and I looked at the manual. It keeps blowing a 30 amp fuse on my inverter. I'm going to show you the install and it was actually done by me and a certified electrician and we can't figure out why my inverter won't run it. But everything else, the inverter is running right now. Actually, my uh, one of my flat panel screens is running off there, off the inverter. All the lower loads work no problem. I can't run a toaster either. I tried that. It blew a uh, fuse too. But I'll show you what I've got and I'll show you what it looks like and maybe one of you can give me some advice. Okay, so this is what I installed, a 3000 watt modified sign inverter. Now I know it's not a pure sign, but it should do the trick. It does a 5000 watt surge. And I've got it running here with a 30 amp fuse and I've got two six volt batteries deep cycle. That's what everybody says the way I should go is two six volt. Now this is where I mounted it. It's uh, on a diagonal basis, lots of ventilation, somewhat out of the way. It's the best I could do. And uh, so I got a remote switch that goes up there and the wiring goes up inside. And I'll show you how that works. So I also bought a bunch of bed in a bag so that uh, the place looks a little lived in and I brought some of my personal items. And here we go, we have the uh, inverter starter switch. You can tell it's running because the light's on, but I need to mount that underneath this bed here. I'll do that a little later. And the other thing that I bought that's kind of handy that some of you permanent RVers might like is this WineGuard high definition antenna. Now, if you look in the window there, that little flat thing that sticks there with a the 3M tape, it is a high definition flat screen antenna. And it just runs underneath my bed, which I have up here to a flat screen here. And um, now I don't really get TV reception up here. I'm, up, I'm, a, I'm in a mountain valley right now, so it doesn't really work here. But um, but if you're in any big city, that it should work quite well. It was quite uh, well reviewed. I bought this at Sea Crane Company, and I actually paid a little too much. But I think the cheapest place you can get this wine guard is on Amazon. So check that out if you need it. And the best part is you don't need to install a hole in your roof to put that in. So, this is kind of what it's starting to look like. A little bit more lived in. And, uh, you know, got my food. Oh, I had to buy one of these. I recommend these slim size uh, Brita water filters. The, the big wide ones don't really fit in these fridges, but the slim one works excellent. People might wonder how I have internet up here in an RV in Canada. I'm on Bell Network and I have an Android phone. You can actually do this with an iPhone, even an older one, you can tether it. I just create a hotspot and connect it up to my laptop and I've got broadband. So if anybody can figure out why my microwave can't run on a 3000 watt inverter, please let me know. It keeps blowing a 30 amp fuse on that line. I even cheated and put a 35 amp fuse in and it blew that one too. So, got any tips? Love to hear them.